first thing first, make sure you get a drink of whatever you're drinking. Coffee, if you're in the morning, and uh, whatever you want to drink in the evening. Well, hello. If you are watching on Restream, as I say all the time, make sure you try to join us live if you ever can. We go live 3 p.m. Eastern Time every single Monday. And uh, this Monday, as you can see, things are a little different because it's every single Monday we try to make sure that we show up here uh, at 3 p.m. And that includes when I'm traveling, which is what's happening right now. So I see some of you popping into the chat already. Make sure you say hi in the chat as you get here. Let everybody know who you are. Hey, and uh, it won't let you type a domain name in the chat, but if you have a domain name that you're super proud of that you think identifies you as much as your name or location or anything like that, let us know in the chat. Just kind of space it out or spell out the dot or something like that. Uh, while I don't want a bunch of domain spam in the chat, hey, we are here for domains, so please make sure to, to mention that. So today we are going to be spending time talking about what can domains give us like per financial freedom? Can it replace the day job? You know, that, that security and that uh, predictability of a salary that we get from our day job. That is what we're going to be looking at. We're going to be discussing that as we go through this week's expiring domain names. That is why we're all here to look through expiring domain names, the domain names that the previous owners letting go. And now we get to come along and pick the best ones and bid them up and hopefully win them at auction so we can take control of them and uh, provide for ourselves. Let us to create the future and uh, make our dreams come true. So like and subscribe. Make sure you say hi in the chat. I'm Drew Walsh. This is Domain to Profit. We are getting going. From domain to profit, domain to profit, from a dot com to a business idea. Take your domain name, develop an income from domain to profit. We'll show you how. Domain to profit, from domain to profit. Join Drew Walsh and get started right now. All righty, what is it? What, week 137 of Domain to Profit, uh, San Diego style. I'm out here a couple times a month. Uh, I don't have my normal lighting, so you get the, uh, anyhow, I'm all washed out. I don't care. Washed out, uh, Drew Wash. Hey, Lee's joining us. There's somebody that's probably not drinking coffee across the pond. Well, Lee, welcome. Nice to have you. Entrepreneurship names, nice to have you as well. Uh, as I, I appreciate you joining us. I've seen you many times as at this point. Mike, nice to have you back with us live. I saw you missed us live last week. But as Mike did last week, I encourage you as well, if you're watching on Restream, let me know. Comment in the, uh, the comments below on YouTube especially. Let me know that you're watching. Uh, I also appreciate all the uh, tweets and the dim, dim, what direct messages that I receive on there. Uh, let's me know that... Uh, that you're watching, that you care, and it also lets me ask you questions that matter to this show. Like, I'm, I don't do this, for, well, realistically, I'm going to look through expiring domain names no matter what, so I do decide to do it live, but how I, the direction that I go with things, I like to know what it is that you're looking for so I can kind of steer it that way. And Hugh popping in as well. Okay, with that said, let's get the party started. I'm going to put up the QR code for our filter. So, boop, there you go. Up in the corner there, you can see the filter uh, QR code. And I can put that, uh, that'll be up on the screen here maybe in a little bit. But scan that, that QR code if you are wanting to see the video that goes over the filters that we use to filter our domain names. Because we're going to spend our time here, which is expireddomains.net. Expireddomains.net is where this is. I already have my filter set up. I'm already ready to go. As you can see, I have it down to, what, 110,000 domain names that we're going to be looking through today. Uh, and if you do not have your filter set up, you're probably seeing 400,000 plus, And we only get to, like, the first 200, 400 domain names. So there's plenty there. 
uh, for everybody, even if you don't uh, follow the show or if you want to keep going after the show, which I highly recommend you do. Once you are here, once you have your filter set up, we click on the valuation over on the column there. Valuation is not the value of the domain name. It's not the value of the domain name. It has nothing to do with the value. It is simply drawing the best domain names up to the top. Don't, if you use that number for value, you are going to be a fool. Do not do it. Uh, I've been watching uh, some other YouTube videos out there that talk about domain names, and it seems uh, it, all too often, almost every video that I've seen out there talking about domain names and creating wealth, they all talk about that value as if it is the value of the domain name. They're like, look how quickly you can make money. You can buy this $20 domain name and it's worth $1,000. And you hear that and you go, that sounds like it's full of shit. Trust that instinct. Trust that instinct because it is. It has nothing to do with value. Uh, anyhow, I, I, I'm going to be creating some uh, videos to talk about that a little bit more. Um, okay, so here we go. Nothing fancy as far as video today. You'll, you'll see less of my mug than usual, maybe. I like this first one here that we have, fishmarket.com. I see that the value is already up. It's already up over $10,000, but we're going to give it a click. So what we do, we filter our domain names, we order by the value, and now we look for the best ones. And we're not just looking for the ones that, like, we, we see the domain name and we think, oh, that's cute. I like that domain name. That's probably worth some money. No, we are looking for the domain names that we can predictably count on being worth money. How can we predict it? Because we are specifically looking at domain names that if we were to buy and we were to develop or turn into a business, it is very possible to do. Which, to go to the original question, can you quit your day job and worry about domain names only? The answer to that is only, only if you develop a domain name. Only if you develop domain names I would not go, oh, uh, that's not only. Okay, let me add a second one. If you sell other people's domain names, you could potentially quit your day job and only do domain names. But realistically, you cannot buy domain names and then sell them and have enough turnaround. I just don't believe it. I, don't, I, I think there's probably a couple people out there that do it, uh, but starting is just, don't, uh, anyhow. Okay, fishmarket.com. So here's how we uh, check out our domain names. We go ahead and copy the domain name, but we don't take the .com. We are only looking at .coms. It's one of those filters we have set up there. This one's going to take some work, but you can see it's already up over $10,000. Now we go over to our other tool, which is spyfoo.com. Spyfoo.com, you can use it as a free tool. Uh, it limits what data you see. I have a paid account. Uh, it, I would probably say, where would I spend my first money? SpyFu's one of the first places I would spend money. It's a good, you can find the data elsewhere for free, but it's a little, it's more confusing. It's a little more difficult to, to get all the data in one place. And for the price, about 50 bucks a month or so, uh, it, it just pulls it all together. It's gonna to save you a lot of time. So I like SpyFu. Probably the second money I would pay for would be NameBio. Uh, NameBio, again, they let you search things for free, uh, which we don't use NameBio very often here, but we do occasionally. So here's why this one's 10,000 bucks. Exact searches that we have here. Over 14,000 searches for fish market. Uh, and then uh, if you watch Domain to Profit, you know that some of my favorite words, my what makes my heart like sing when it comes down to a domain name is when I put the keywords into SpyFu and I see these words over here near me following my domain name. So the keywords in my domain name in this case are fish market and then fishmarket.com near me. What that means is we can localize this domain name. We can develop it, say like a towing.com type domain name. That is towing.com is my primary. That allows me and others to like have our bills paid, livelihoods. Many people get their salaries from towing.com because it's a developed domain name. 
the same business model could go onto this domain name here. How do I know this? Well, because of that near me piece. We can take fishmarket.com, we can turn it into uh, add part of the, the features of the site to find fish markets near you. So you add a location and it shows you the local fish markets. They ideally pay to be there. That is the part that I'm not sure about fish markets. A lot of times there's a bunch of different booths and things and it just smells like fish. I'm, I'm not a big fan of fish markets, but, uh, but look at this, 127,000 searches for fish market near me. Uh, that is a keyword that we would target with fishmarket.com. And let's go down and look at the money because the money is one of the key, a key aspects of what we do with Domain to Profit is we need to see the money behind it. We need to see competition in the form of advertisers. And in this case, there's three advertisers over there. That means three people are paying to target fish market as a keyword. They're paying cost per click is 65 cents there. And those aren't really good numbers money-wise. I like to see 10 or more advertisers paying $2 or more per click. And you might think, oh, that just doesn't happen very often. And that's correct, it doesn't happen very often, but that's why I like to see it. That means that that domain name is competitive. There's a lot of people competing to reach that keyword and they're paying enough money that it's gonna make it worth spending all the time and effort that it's gonna to take to develop it out. In this case, we don't have that market, but man, look at that, 14,000 monthly searches, 127,000 uh, searches when you add in the near me. Let's do our other trick, which is we highlight the keyword, we do a control F in our browser. And by the way, if you're watching this on mobile, you won't be able to do some of these tricks uh, using a laptop's always kind of the preferred method, especially if you're looking through domain names. Although I'm, I've spent plenty of time looking on my cell phone as well. It's kind of a lifestyle, you know. But look at that there. So what we did, control F, we want to see where that keyword in our domain name, fish market shows up. Look, it, it's, it lights up like Christmas here. Look at this, like all over the place, we have lots of different stuff. Fish market near me, fresh fish market near me, fish market, fish markets near me. Now watch out for that S, that S would be a different domain name. That's one of the things you kind of got to watch out when you do the control F trick. San Pedro fish market, Asian fish market, Boston, like there's a lot of interesting keywords, thousands of searches happening in the middle there. So uh, I dig it, I like the domain name, but ultimately at $10,000, it's gonna be priced out for me. Now, if you're into the fish market thing, uh, three days left on that domain name. Certainly a great domain name uh, to start off with. Uh, if you have the big money, uh, well, let me go ahead and let me look at the pricing based on my structure. So when I look in price of domain name, this is my formula. Yours needs to be different. Mine is based on my budget. I tend to spend more because I'm able to develop or I will be developing more domains. In this case, I see that 127,000 searches for my keyword, 14,000 exact. Uh, the issue I run into is the advertisers are let one third of what I want, cost per clicks about, uh, I'll say a third also. Basically that means I need to take all the keyword data that I think is exact match to mine and multiply it by one six. This is really confusing for the love of goodness. Uh, let me uh, pull up a calculator even. Where's my calculator? I'll show you kind of how I would do this here. Uh, 127,000. Uh, I'm gonna add in the, not an equal sign. I'm gonna add in the, I'm just gonna call it 15,000. And then I wanna multiply it or actually divide it by six. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I could see this domain name potentially if I was really into this industry. Now, when I go after a domain name, this would be the number I'd be looking at, 23,000. So 23,000, I believe the traffic and the domain name market for fish market could be up to 23K, which is why you see it going for 10K. Uh, okay, that's kind of, it's a bit of a bad example, but good. Good, okay, let's keep on moving on. I can't imagine many of us are diving into fishmarket.com, which is okay. That's what we're working up to. Now, 
uh, if you love if you love uh, fish or something like that, then hey, this is your opportunity. You know, go talk to the bank, do what you need to do. Uh, you're never going to have an opportunity to get fishmarket.com again. Uh, that's the same kind of thing that I went diving into when I looked at domain names uh, back in the day. I had to go for banks. In fact, I got towing.com, put my house on the line to get a loan to get towing.com because I believed in it. Should you do that? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. It's one of those things. Just make sure you're all in on the right domain name. I was already making money with a lesser domain name, uh, autotowing.com, when I purchased towing.com. So I started with what I call my beachhead domain name, uh, which was autotowing.com. Okay, continuing down the list here. Football helmets. I mean, I, don't people sell fo autographed football helmets? That sounds like a stretch, though. Uh, that might be your industry. You can go certainly go dive in into it. I skip over a lot of domain names that others might be interested in. So if you want to call one out in the chat, feel free to. And Fred and Hugh see a couple people popping in as well and clap back. Yeah, SpyFu, like I use SEM Rush was uh, SEM Rush is a tool that I use for many years. They just got so complicated. And if you're look, using this for the purpose of uh, domain names, uh, you don't need you don't need such uh, complicated data. So, uh, you know, I've been watching some of these uh, domain money uh, YouTube videos out there, um, and I'm going to start posing some reactions. And one of the biggest things that I see. And then it's unfortunate is uh, don't go chasing the easy money. There, there, is no e the, the, there is no easy money. Domain names are not easy money. You're going to waste money buying the wrong domain names for a long time before you really start to get into a rhythm. And it requires a lot of discipline. I still, even now, what, 20 years into this, I, I still buy a lot of crappy domain names. I'm not disciplined enough to uh, to let domain names go sometimes. I, I do better than most. I really, yeah. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I, I like a couple of these, and my rule for things is if I like them kind of, I, it's a no for me. I have to kind of be all in on it. Uh, some of the ones I, I like jerseysale.com. Um, let me see, what was the other one? Propertyleases.com. Go, go toss those into SpyFu if those are your industries. Uh, resort services, like that's an almost domain name. There might be something there. I'm just not going to spend time on them. So look at, like, you'll see, I am skipping dozens and dozens of domain names that GoDaddy is saying are worth thousands and thousands of dollars. And I know there's people out there that are like, GoDaddy says these are worth thousands of dollars, so I'm gonna go buy them. And you're gonna go waste your money. <laughs> if you are not sure as to why I'm skipping over a specific domain name, feel free to call it out in the chat. If you're willing to, I get that sometimes we're competitive and we don't want to call attention to our, our best domains. Again, I cannot see domain names if you post them as a domain name, just to kind of mention it without the .com. We're only looking at .coms. I don't need to know the .com. Well, man, I feel like we've had a, a good couple of weeks looking through domain names with lots of great domains. And it looks like uh, it's time to pay the piper on this stuff. Never fails. I go remote, and when I'm remote, I don't have my uh, in-office studio, so I'm really limited on what I can do. So all I can do really is look through the expiring domain names, and it never fails that, uh, that that's when the domain names are bad. Uh, executive logistics, I will mention that one is an enom domain name. Uh, for the sake of the show, you will know. 
we do not look at enom domain names unless they are two dollar two days out and that one is five days out uh, in many cases those domain names get pulled back so you don't actually get the bid on them so i try not to give them any uh, air plastic oh see see plastic flowers i would be interested in that one uh, but it's an enom domain name that one might get a uh, a watch list though so seven days out if you add it to your watch list you're going to pretty quickly find out it's going to get pulled back it, at about three days left they a lot of times get pulled back tower center i think community oh and here's that uh and yes you can post your domain names over on the discord server did I put up a QR code for that? Oh, yeah, I do. Here we go. Switch the disk I, up in the uh, up in the corner right now is the uh, the link for the Discord server. So uh, if you scan that, you'll be able to go to the Discord server. That is where we all get together and talk to main names. Uh, I'm usually on there a little bit after the show, and sometimes throughout the week. This kind of depends on if domain how much domains are working into my life that week. But yeah, you can, as Matt was mentioning in the chat, you can sell domain names, you can request domain names, and you have to use the link to get in with the invite. So uh, the community is kind of limited. We don't have a bunch of uh, spammers or anything like that in there. I, I plan on keeping it that way. I don't want to be part of a garbage community. So Lee, I'm glad you're here, man. You need to like bring some good luck on these domains, I'm not feeling it. I, although I do see some dashboard domain names. I know you're a dashboard guy. Okay. NFT buyers. I feel like that is just such a... Uh, I, don't, I don't like that I'm clicking on this domain name. Ends in seven days, nftbuyers.com. Uh, but there was a time that I would be really excited about this domain name. And 44 searches. What am I thinking with this one? I, I don't know. Um, I'm glad the data sucks. So now I don't have to think about it anymore. I'm moving on. In fact, I'm going to close it so we don't even mention it at the end. Sex and you. Break the matrix. I like it. So feel free to mention quotes or uh, questions and things in the chat as well. I'll try to keep up with it and see it when I get it. California motels. Uh, I avoid travel domain names when it comes down to hotels, motels. You're, you're not going to compete with an Expedia. Uh, I mean, you can. You can try. Just don't spend too much money on those. Vector software. Some of the advice I see pretty frequently is uh, short domain names, they're worth a ton. That was one of the things I just recently saw. And if it's a short domain name, it's gonna be worth more. Mm -hmm. To an extent, <laughs> there's, but like Fox Cup, what, I, no, I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Test bots, I don't mind that one. Uh, that would be more of a brandable or an investable domain name training job. So one of the things I was, I was thinking about with domain names especially is your surefire way to make money from domain names is development. You only develop one. Like start with your main one domain name. Uh, I love it because so many in the community are already working on that one project. You don't have to code it from scratch. You can use no code. You can use uh, just basic. The key thing is you're learning skills to be able to develop the property that you own. That's what we're out. For. That's what we're out to do. Is if the domain name's good enough, it doesn't necessarily matter how good, uh, like how innovative you are with your development. And I, I feel like I'm a living example of that. We don't do anything, well, we don't do, we do some stuff that's a little bit innovative with our sites, uh, but there's nothing, you could learn most of what we do pretty quickly. It's database, deliver, you know, data, saving things to a database, pulling it out and displaying it, 
you can even pro I processed for years credit cards manually by hand. I had to talk to every single customer on the phone to get a credit card, to process it by hand. I used PayPal. I mean, nowadays, yes, we process everything in a very uh, automated, formal you know, way, but that's not how it started. There's not, once you make that first few hundred dollars or somebody pays to be a part of something that you've created, man, you will be hooked. Then it's just a matter of uh, diving into it more. Yeah, uh, I, you, I see a same, it looks like Matt's asking the same question uh, about the domain name. Let me know what the domain name was. I can let you know what I think of it. Uh, you cannot type a full domain name. Just leave the dot out or something like that. So just so you know. Chat will filter it. Chat does not want domain names in the, uh, I don't know how Matt got the Discord thing. I guess you're, Matt's an admin in the chat, so. Well, we are numerous. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go mix up our filters here. Hey, look at that. We had NFT buyers, and now there's NFT sellers. Uh, I feel like those two domain names together suddenly become worth something. Now you're talking about a domain name market where you're possibly pulling domain seller, NFT sellers, NFT uh, buyers. So, oh, how, homemade pies. Yeah, you know, I actually meant to, uh, I mentioned name bio earlier. Uh, let's pull up name bio. Uh, name bio, so here is one of the things that, uh, I think it got pulled actually, or is that blueberry muffins? Um, I, did not, I did not buy blue, uh, homemade pies. Uh, but we'll check it out here in a second. I just want to say, like, name bio, um, homemade pies. Uh, this is one of the th number one things that if you are, when you start into domain names, uh, it looks like it did not sell. I think it got pulled back at the last minute uh, because I had it on my watch list and I did not see the domain name end. Uh, let's, let's go over to my auctions. didn't win. I don't know if I bid on it though. I might not have bid on it. Um, no. Ah, I hate the new interface here. Oh, please stop. It just hurts me so bad. Okay. Yeah, it looks like homemade pies got pulled back uh, last minute or something. So uh, that's a bummer. Uh, I, I wanted homemade pies. I wanted a bunch of them. I don't. I don't uh, I'll, we'll check at the end to see if I won anything this last week. Um, I think I did, but yeah. So I, I don't know. If somebody knows what homemade pies sold for, let us know. Uh, I believe it got pulled back because I did not participate in the end of that auction, and that was one that I wanted to go for. So uh, let's see here. And clap back, welcome in, welcome in. Oh yeah, join the join the Discord server, yeah. Discord, like, I'm not on there a ton, but I'm on there a little bit. I do, like, it's actually worked out better than what I expected so far. I'm just not a big fan of Discord. I want something that's a little more like a wiki that allows us to save uh, conversations and organize them. I like to be as efficient in my content creation as possible. We are seriously like 400 domain names in. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to mix up the filters. So we're going to go diving into some different filters. Uh, and we're going to look uh, for specific domain names this time. Instead of uh, right now, the, the top list. What I, so we are looking currently the value, highest value to the lowest value. We're two, 400 domain names in, uh, two out of 555 pages so that you can keep going. I encourage you, if you are somewhat newer to this and you're just learning how to look through domain names, keep going, keep going. There are plenty of domain names. I think most of my domain names 
are not, they wouldn't even show up yet. Right now, the bottom domain name is $2,400 value, according to GoDaddy. M many of my domain names are less than that. So if you stop now and don't look at any additional domain names, you are going to miss out on some good domain names. It's just for the sake of a live show. I don't want to keep going page after page uh, if we are not, uh, if it's not producing enough domain names. So uh, I just clicked over to the next page. Uh, and, but now here's what I want to do. Uh, I want to open up our filters. And let's think of some different things. So if you have industries you want me to look at, uh, I can, we can come up with that. I can look at, uh, let's look at some cheaper domain names. Actually, let's go with this. One of the things I tell you a lot of times is if you are looking at an expiring domain name and it has no bids, I tell you do not bid on the domain name if it has no bids. Uh, at minimum, wait till there's a little over five minutes left. Part of why I tell you to do that is because people will uh, snipe. So let me show you a little bit of how that would work. How do you kind of snipe out domain names? Uh, basically let other people find the good domain names and you come in later to do it. Uh, I've warned you about this all the time and it's as easy as this. So let me pull back up my screen. So we can keep all of our filters exactly as they were. So that means under the additional tab, we're looking at .com only. Uh, we got rid of numbers, we got rid of hyphens. We're still looking at English words, one to three words. All the filters remain the same because that's what we're looking for, right? That's the kind of domain name we're, we want. Now, what we want to do when we are looking at these domain names that are, we want to look, uh, let me see. So I change it to where it's like, I'm only, I want domain names that are ending in the next day. And then I want to find, uh, domain names that have a bid. So uh, let me see if I can get that. Okay. So this is one of the beauty things of uh, expireddomains.net. They let you filter on all kinds of stuff. So now we can look at domains. Once we run this, our other option is to, uh, we can take, uh, you can set a max price. Let's say that you like our budget's $1,000 or so, let's say the max price, we don't want to see fishmarket.com. We're not in it to pay $10,000 for domain name. So let's make sure we limit it in that way too. So now we're going to be looking at all the GoDaddy domains that have bids that are within a day. And then what we can do is we can come in here and we can order either by end time, I have to give it a double click. So now look at this. We can see right now, these are all the domain names that are going to be in in the next minute or two. So you can kind of see like, boom, uh, this one here, somebody's, somebody's getting that one for $10, Ritter's Residential, boom. Now, there are bots, uh, as many of you know already, Huge Domains and a couple other uh, companies out there that do investing in domain names. They have bots that are doing this. This is manual for us. Uh, but you can program a bot that will just watch for this stuff. Uh, and as you probably know, Huge Domains does this. You were better to let a domain name go without being bid and then buy it for $50 as a buy it now. Uh, that works better for me than to bid $12 at the end of an auction. Because when you bid, a lot of times buy it now sees you do that or buy Huge Domains sees you do that and then they'll overbid you uh, you're basically alerting them to great domains. So let's kind of browse down through here real quick. We, now, now we're on a clock. Now we're like, we got to keep really going fast. All, all these domains are being like, man, I see so many of these are, I hope that it's just the owner getting their own domain name. Cause so many of these are really, really bad. <laughs> They're really bad. They're not good domains. I want you to be, uh, to avoid, hey, Sparkle Time. I don't mind that one. That one seems like a pretty good domain name. That one's ending in the next couple of minutes. Sparkle Time, ending in 38 minutes, $55 currently. Uh, that, what would that domain name be? If we go and type that into SpyFu, there's no data there, most likely. 
uh, that would be something you buy just because you think it's fun or maybe you can see it as a newsletter. When I was uh, deliriously sleepy last night, I didn't get like into my room until like 4 a.m. or so. It was just ridiculous. It was a horrible night. It was like sleepwalking and everything. Anyhow, uh, but I was thinking about how to designate this idea of a domain name. Like investing in domain names for the sake of like say a sparkle time. I like that domain name. It sounds kind of fun. I could see somebody uh, using it for a positive newsletter or um, you know maybe women's events or something like that. Uh, so I can think of the different ways a domain name can be used. You can as well. Practice that. That is something that we talk about. What would you put on it? What would you put on it? Now the key thing is, as you're thinking of it, what would you put on it is one piece. So what would you put on a domain name is, is one piece. The next one is the pricing of that domain name. And that is where I believe so many people fail is on the pricing of a domain name. Uh, if Sparkle Time was going to be a positive, encouraging newsletter put out by women or something, encouraging other women to spark, whatever it is, whatever, just a positive metaphor, sparkle being shine your light into the world type of thing, um, which, I, which I've heard. I've kind of heard that mentality. They are not going to buy that domain name for $10,000. So if you were to buy this domain name, sparkletime.com, and you were to buy it for $70, $120, you would not price that domain name at $14,000. That's the biggest disconnect that I see in domains is so many people are trying to uh, treat every domain name as if it's like worth a car. And that's, that's one of the ways you can process it in your head is, well, how, how, what's this domain name worth? One of the ways I like to think of it is, is this domain name worth a car, a laptop, a phone? Like, if you think about it in those standpoints. Now, sparkletime.com, let's say you buy this domain name. Let's see the price going up, so somebody out there is interested in it. I'm not trying to sell it. I do, I'm not going to bid on it. I just kind of like it. Say you get the domain name, you pay 120 bucks for it. Now, what is Sparkle Time worth to somebody that's just enthusiastically trying to encourage other people? I would say that this domain name would probably, like, it could sell easily in the $800, $1,200, $1,600 dollar range. Would they find a different domain name if they were forced to pay a laptop price, like a $3,000? They would definitely, it, Somebody would eventually probably pay for it in the $3,000 range. The only thing is, is there's so many other options out there for them that they will probably look elsewhere. So uh, I don't know, just that, that's a little bit of how I price it in my head is, you know, is it a phone, is it a laptop? Now the beauty is if you are dealing with businesses, like this is, if you are dealing with businesses for selling domain names, the laptop price is what you're selling for. You're selling in that $3,000 range. Anyone who's starting a business, you're like, I gotta have my laptop and I gotta have my internet connection. Why shouldn't a domain name, the real estate of their business be equal value to their, their technology that they're running their business on? Uh, so I tend to price all my domains, even the crappy ones, at the like $1,600 to $3,600 range. So there you go, but I sell to businesses. Um, hopefully there's some helpful ranting in there. Uh, yeah. Mobile detail company? Did you, I didn't see that one, uh, Brian, is that? So yeah, uh, mobile detail company is, oh, I'll just I just started your comment. I don't even know what that does, but there we go. But you're still not showing, I'm trying to show your, there we go, finally, mobiledetailcompany.com. Is that on this list? Did not see it. Okay, I'm still not seeing it. I like that domain name. It's three words, not a huge fan of that, but still. Uh, I own detailer.com. Uh, I bought that one in one of my 
uh, crazy domain buying thing is how much man how much.com would be such a fun domain name to own I'd love to own that one okay let's get going down the list here sparkle time that just cracks me up uh, magic removal not a not a bad so some of these are like in fact we'll go look at my portfolio some of the domain names I've purchased over the last couple of weeks because I've been playing in this investment arena a little bit more uh, because I sold the freight ninja.com for three thousand dollars again in that range like somebody had an idea they went and they looked at it oh it's around three thousand uh, dollars their vision what they wanted to do with their stuff was worth it uh, now I could have been like the freight industry uh, the the freight industry is worth it's a six billion dollar industry and freight is in the name of the domain name therefore my freight ninja.com should be a thirty thousand dollar domain name absurdity that's absurdity and that's what I hear so frequently from people please don't let that be you the size of the industry doesn't matter you are selling that domain name to one person that has a vision for using it uh, Anyhow, uh, like I get messages all the time that are like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. So like for, for the Sparkle domain name, yeah, like there's, there's all kinds of uses for it. You got to get it cheap, though. That, like you are taking a risk. That could be a, uh, a domain name you hold for a really long time. One of the domain names that I've held probably the longest out of any domain name, I bought it for the investment purpose. Before I even knew what the heck I was doing, uh, I bought computerarmor.com. I bought that in like 2005 or something like that. And uh, I love it. I think it's, the, it's clean, it's clear, there's lots of use for it. Uh, computerarmor.com, and I've never had a single offer on computerarmor.com. Not a single one. So uh, we're talking, we're almost 20 years into it. I've been holding that domain name forever. And if I was to let that domain name drop, I guarantee it would sell for hundreds of dollars, but it just doesn't matter. Like people, like no one has had a vision that they thought computer armor was good for. Fire extinguishing. Oh, it's an Enom domain. Oh my goodness. I usually do this show standing, sitting sucks. I sat all day yesterday on planes okay so there we go uh so what we just did was look through the domain names that end within the next couple days that have or next day that have a bid uh, that's one of the ways you can keep refreshing this you can even take that down less and as you refresh it uh when somebody bids it's going to pull that that data in so uh farmingfoods.com ends in eight minutes yeah, thank you, Fred. Thank you. Like, me too. I love computer armor too. Like, uh, back in, in college, uh, I paid my way through college selling spy software, uh, like affiliate marketing stuff before it was called affiliate marketing. And uh, I was like, computer armor, that would be like so good for like spy software, anti spy. Like, I just, uh, anyhow. Uh, farming foods. That sounds like it could be something. We just saw it off that list. This is why one of the reasons you do it. Somebody thought they were getting away. They were like, farming foods. Look at this great domain name I found. No one's bid on it. And they bid on it with eight minutes left. And now we just so happen to catch it. Um, decent amount of people using the words in the uh, their home pages. Nobody paying to advertise. Uh, 44 searches exact. So not really much happening. The control F trick. See if anybody has it. Farming foods. What is going on here? Ah, oh, keep doing it wrong. Okay. So there's no highlighting going on, not much happening with it. I don't mind it. Farming food, I think I would prefer better as a singular. Uh, but there you go. If you like that one, just spotted farmingfoods.com. That's one of the things you can kind of do is just kind of keep doing it. Or let me take you one step further. 
Here's one of the things that expired domains. I, this is a free site, people. If you don't have an account with expired domains, I don't know. You can go to this section right here. So we set up these filters. You can save the filter. And, uh-oh. I think I just replaced my GoDaddy uh, filter with that. Dagnab it. I'm going to have to go refresh. <laughs> um, OK, well, long story short, uh, when you set up and save a filter, now expireddomains.net will let you click on only show the new ones. That, like, only show the domain names that you've not seen yet on that list. That's a pretty big deal. Like, do you, do you see, like, that's a, so now you can kind of just keep an eye on uh, when new domain names come up that meet that criteria. So let me just show you uh, some of my saved ones. Uh, let's look at, so we'll look at the miscellaneous word, my, one of my miscellaneous word, word lists. Only new domain names. So 27 domains have been added since I last used this list. And I come in here, I look down to my list, um, I see if anything here is worth a darn. These are just some of the industries that I watch. My industries versus something that you probably have to mess with. Uh, experience photo booth, experience photo booths. Maybe worth uh, bidding on, maybe not. But you could save your searches and then click the only new domain names. So now you can just, you don't have to keep filtering in your own brain like all the domains that you don't want to see. There you go, like big deal. That's, that's like a huge thing. I probably should do a show on just diving into the expired domain net, uh, expired domains filters, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. So I need to go fix that GoDaddy one. So uh, you can do this with other domains, selfless. Oh, look at that, that one's a brand new one. Uh, that one's gonna end uh, over eight days. Look at that one though. $38,000 is currently what Selfless is going for. Mm, that'll be there next week. Uh, I don't really want to talk about it next week because I don't really like it all that much, but let's see. So a lot of times you'll find single word domain names will go for very high, just partly just because they're single word domain names. Selfless, would I know how to spell that, Selfless? Would I make a mistake typing it? I'd probably get it. I don't know if I like the word selfless, so. But 48,000 searches for the keyword selfless, uh, that's a good number of words. The thing that you'll see is right here in the middle, a lot of times on those single word domain names, what are the synonyms? What's the definition? What's the meaning? That's why people are searching for it. It's a matter of spelling. It's a matter of other stuff. They're not actually looking or expecting to find products or money related to that domain name. So even though it's a great domain name, it's typically being bought for the purpose of selling it to a high price client down the road versus developing it. I don't know what I would put on it. Selfless.com. Excuse me. Okay. Well, on that note, uh, let's go look at, uh, so let me reflect, reflect uh, or refresh or look over some of the domain names we've looked at so far. We've not looked at much. Fishmarket.com, I like the domain name, just not enough. Money-wise, it's worth it, especially if the fish market in any way, shape, or form is in your area and something you can dive into. But at $10,000, three days left, not going to be something I'm going to dive into. Um, so plasticflowers.com ends in seven days. Oh, that's an enom domain name. So I added it to my watch list just to keep an eye on, which actually fish market I'll keep an eye on also. Sparkle Time was just playing around a little bit. Uh, you see it's kind of going up in price. I, just an investable domain name. So just an example, uh, Farming Foods ends in one minute, $20. Uh, Selfless.com, that one's going to ending next week. Kind of a weird, a uh, little bit of a uh, weird week this week. So what are some of the domain names I am, uh, or have purchased this week? 
let's let's go dive into them. I haven't done this in a while, so uh, let's see my ordered by. Sorry for popping in. So I grabbed creatorscore.com. Uh, I like that one. I think that could be a fun site. So back to uh, those two pieces, creatorscore.com. I could see it being something where uh, content creators, uh, they get their stuff scored and it helps them uh, create a market uh, for the content they're creating or themselves as a content creator. They get scored and rated and so on. So it helps them generate marketing. That would be complicated to make, but it could happen. It would make, uh, it would either pay to be a featured content creator uh, in different industries or something like that. Not sure how all that would work. If I was to sell the domain name, uh, like right away, my thought is that would be a laptop type of domain name. I would sell it for a laptop, but I could see it being worth more also. I would not sell it for a laptop. I bought it, I wanna keep it, but if I was to buy it for the sake of resale, that would be one of them. Uh, I showed you my Ninja domain names last week. Missing index. This is one of those, uh, that's a dis undisciplined decision. Missingindex.com. I used to love the keyword index. I used to buy a lot of them. Missing index. It just made me think of domains, uh, or I'm sorry, of databases. So if you're missing your index, it means your database is uh, inefficient. Varsity Tower, or Varsity Tower, uh, I don't know. Again, didn't need to buy it, but bought it anyways. Pot Vaporizer, I don't really like it, uh, but it was kind of my $300 bid, ended up getting it, so I'll go with it. Probably my favorite domain name I've purchased over the last couple of weeks is equipmentlot.com. So this is one of those domain names, equipmentlot.com. I let it, uh, it went, no one bid on it, so it went to buy now and I bought it for 50 bucks. Why did I do that? Well, because if I would have bid on it and tried to get it for $12 with five minutes left, my experience recently has been huge domains would have sold my bid and next thing you know, it would have been a $300 domain name. So I waited, equipmentlot.com, I love that domain name. Uh, it goes with my industries and things, so I know that space pretty well. Cannabis startup, overpaid for it. Um, I, I've been making some bad decisions lately, but uh, it's probably worth it. Just It, it just wasn't uh, all that great. Let's look at the did not win ones. Uh, so here we go. Uh, Ropecourse.com, I was the number two bidder. It's a common thing. I hate being number two. I would have loved to have had it. Huge domains won that one. But uh, as my wife mentioned, and as I mentioned last week as well, uh, as I was discussing with their rope courses or ropes course, it's one of those rare occasions that she said the middle S was needed. And, and I do agree, the keyword data backed her up on that. And because it conflicts with, uh, with my dislike of the middle S, I, I was like, ah, not going too much higher than a thousand. Evil Corporation, I was thinking about this one last night. Somebody overpaid for it. I don't think it was worth it. Uh, I think I took it up to $1,000. I'm bitter number three or so on that one. Uh, I was thinking about it. It's like there's so many alternative domain names to say the exact same thing that I, I just don't, I can't imagine they're all worth it. Um, let's see here. What else? And I think that's about it. So those were the main domain names. Looking over the domain names I did buy and did not buy. So let me check out the chat. Yeah, look at that, Matt. Matt, by the way, uh, how did I, I keep pinning damn uh, comments? So Matt, who is uh, one of the programmers that works with me, has been becoming a domain name investor. He's already made a few thousand dollars. Could have even made more, but uh, anyhow. Uh, there was a domain name that was a potential trademark thing, so I instructed him to probably sell it for less than what it would have uh, possibly been able to get, but we avoided the trademark stuff. So do not mess with trademarks. And if you accidentally buy one, uh, just just cut your losses. Uh, let's see the ones. Okay, I showed you the lost ones. 
Um, and you can see I actually, I can show you the, mid, the bids on some of these as well. In most cases, I, I will quickly go up, go up over $1,000. But yeah, there you go. Uh, showed the ones I didn't win. Uh, some of these, I, I tend to be disciplined. I will bid up to like $600, $700, almost without a care. $300 or $400 uh, all the time. It's almost my starting bid anymore uh, is, is like 388 or something like that. That's me. You should not do that uh, bid within your, your range as well. So uh, there you go. Okay. Um, well, I think that'll do. There we go. We looked at uh, some of the domain names, looked at my wins and losses. Uh, in, and as you can see, I, in my wins, I don't know if I mentioned it, but they're garbage. I, I, I've spent probably, uh, I would say, probably $600 on garbage domain names over the last couple of weeks. I, I don't like them, and I'm pretty sure they will drop over the next couple of weeks. So or not next couple, next couple of years. There'll be something that will end up going away. It's, that's the danger of looking at these lists over and over. That's part of why I say, can you, uh, can you replace your day job with domain name investing? And the answer is, it's going to, no. You, like, you can sell other people's domains. I think that's a great way because uh, then you don't have to buy them. You're just generating revenue through your time and effort and skills. Same thing with development. Development is how you can do it. You can concentrate on getting one good domain and then developing that domain name to generate an income. I've used domain development in some way uh, to do behind all my businesses. Uh, I used to do search and optimization and then it turned into domain development because I wanted to do SEO on my own sites. Long story short, you're either going to have to develop or you're going to have to sell. Those are the, in fact, if you develop, you're still going to have to sell. <laughs> you still have to sell. Like there's selling is something you're going to have to do. Trust me, I have an alert showing up on my screen every day that is saying higher sales, higher sales. Right, Matt? Every, every single day. He, he, they, everybody in my office knows it because, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, on that note, I think. Do you put up? Let me. Uh, any any questions? Feel feel free to toss them out. We gotta have a couple minutes, and uh, I'm I'm open micing it as of this point. Uh, and also, just so I mentioned, Discord up in the corner. You can scan that and get to that Discord server. Also, make sure you like and subscribe. I work for likes and subscribes. I'm just completely uh, ridiculous like that. Do you put them up for sale right away? No. <laughs> um, I am the person that I make fun of occasionally. I will pay a few thousand dollars for a domain name and it will go to a GoDaddy landing page for the next year. Like I'm, I'm really bad in that way. We are working on some tools internally that will help us to make it an easy process. Uh, I used to I used to pretty quickly park them and put them on Epic uh, sales pages, but then Epic went uh, in haywire and I didn't want any domain names to sell through them, so that messed up all my stuff. Uh, so long story short, right now most of my domain names, some of them point towards Dan uh, but a lot of them are just sitting there waiting. Uh, so a lot of them also point over to uh, moving, movingsites.com, which is our company. So selling. I'm not sure what you're asking there. I probably got ahead at like the, the 30 second delay or something. I might have missed you. But selling, if you're selling, sell domain names, like that's always uh, one of the key things. And as far as uh, what you need to uh like we all have to learn sales skills in some way. You can sell from so many different ways. I sell typically as a nerd. Uh, like I sold computers through high school. Like I, I was a nerd. I was selling as a nerd logically and all this stuff. Like it worked out for me. Lots of people sell off emotion when they, anyhow. Sell, sales is one of the key skills that you need. Uh, it's one of the reasons, like Domain King, it's his the best advice that Domain King gives on Twitter 
was always his sales advice. He overprices his domain names. I disagree with him on most domain related stuff, but the dude can sell and his sales advice is important. Uh, so uh, there you go, there you go. Yeah, I, I don't sell, like, same. I, most of my domain names that sell, they just pay the price I want. I, if you buy the right domain names, get them to a way for them to transact. The person that your audience that wants to buy that domain name will find it, and then they just have to make the decision on whether or not they buy it. That is why I like it going to a Epic sales page or a Dan sales page or some place they can make a transaction. I would actually like most of my domain names to go to, they can buy it for a price or they can rent it. Uh, I love domain rentals. I used to love it with Epic. I have several of them on contracts. Uh, anyhow, that's a different story for a different day, I, I think. Alrighty. Um, I'm just thinking. I, I think that's about it. Okay, well, we've made it an hour. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. This is a travel one. This is I'm in San Diego this week. Uh, probably not enjoying uh, much in the way of weather, but it's 60 degrees. It's not bad. Uh, portfolio, Mark. Thank you for the questions, by the way. I do appreciate it. Uh, my portfolio is around 1,000. Uh, got up to around 1,200 domain names, and then I've started to either drop a lot or sell. I just I, I've not been adding any. However, because I think I got down to like 800 domains. And now I'm, I'm starting to add in more and more uh, domain names, partly just because I'm just buying. Like, the more you look at domain names, the more you're going to buy. That's why you have to set the criteria in your head, know what you're looking for, know your audience, and only look in those areas. Don't, don't try to be huge domains, which is that, that company that's buying, that buys a lot of domains. They buy all over the place. They are just buying and just like, fill, like getting as many as possible in hopes that some, like enough of them sell. You and I, we need to be more of like, these are the areas I look. I look in this area, towing logistics. I look in equipment. I look in business to business. I love like certain arenas. I have some hobby areas that I look in uh, that's like cannabis, travel, uh, that's why I own bartenders uh, and tour guides. Like I look in certain things partly because I love it, part of it because it pays the bills, and then other things that I want to develop. So each one going to produce money either when it gets developed, when I sell it, which may not happen for a long, long time, or, or miscellaneous, who knows what I'll do with it, but I'm glad I have it. <laughs> or I end up dropping it. Alrighty, well, everybody have a great week. I hope to see you next week as well. We'll be back here. Well, I will be back in Cincinnati in my home studio, ready to go again next week at 3 p.m. Eastern time for Domain to Profit, where we look at domain names, the real estate of the internet, and how we can use it to generate revenue. Generate revenue, develop, sell them, or I guess, yeah, or waste your money on holding them too long. But yeah, okay. Well, I am Drew Walsh, Domain to Profit. See you next week, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Take care.